executive presence. That's what we've been talking about. What's your plan to develop yours or those of those that you lead? Make, look at these three considerations in putting your plan together. Number one, what's the work? It's going to take some work. Number two, be specific about what you're doing. Number three, be authentic. Welcome to Great Transition Strategies Monday Morning Standard. Five minutes to get your week off to a great start and potentially give you something to help make you a more effective leader. And more importantly, so you can love what you do. All right, so we've been on this executive presence for a few weeks, been talking about it. And remember, the way we define executive presence had three areas to it. Number one, gravitas. Number two, communication. Number three, appearance. Now, what's your plan to put your plan together? So let's talk about these three specific areas. And all along, we're always talking about you and those that you lead. Okay, so as we're going through this, think about these three areas. The first one is, this is gonna take some work. So you're gonna have to put the work, put together a plan to work. This is not just gonna happen on its own. Plan it, put the work in, and define, hey, this is how I, I want to work on this, All right? Number, which leads right into number two. Be specific. Be specific about what you're gonna work on. And this might be a case of, hey, we have all these three areas, the big areas, gravitas, communication, personal appearance. I can't do all of it at once. What are you gonna work on first? When you think about what you're gonna work on first, I think low hanging fruit. What is something I could work on with low hanging fruit that I can make a difference right away? Personal appearance is easy. Okay, that's low hanging fruit. Maybe it's how I'm dressed. It could be how I show up, but that's low hanging fruit. I also think about work on your strengths. Use your strengths to get better, to get better. A lot of times you wanna close the gap, Use your strengths to get better because then you're going to see big leaps. Gives you some confidence as you move forward. All right, so be specific. Okay, last one, Authent authenticity. Be authentic in how you do this. Whenever we move into different positions, there's always some point of compliance. We have to comply with some things and maybe we're not always happy, but there's some things we need to comply with things we do, organizations, positions, all right? But what are your boundaries? What are your non-negotiables? I am not gonna cross this boundary because if I do, I feel like I'm compromising myself. Make sure you have those. Define what those are. These are my non-negotiables and do not, do not give them up. Of course, because one, you're not being authentic, but you're gonna hate yourself. You're gonna be, you're gonna be miserable because you are, you're not being yourself in this. So being yourself is really, really important. Authenticity is important. Others are gonna see through it. You're gonna see through it. You're not gonna feel good about yourself. So there you go. Put together a plan, take into account these three specifics. It's gonna take some work, put a plan together. What are the specifics that you want? And be authentic to yourself in putting that together. Thanks for listening. Hope you found that helpful. See you next Monday morning. Have a great week.